1368 to Marion. Go ahead for Marion. Can you advise the rundown of the events from last night for Marion County? 10-4, hold channel and stand by. All right, well, here's your weekly rundown. We're going to start from this weekend and kind of give you a few highlights of what's happened the last few days. And first of all, we had someone enter a, a yard in the home in the 1800 block of Southeast 190th Avenue and stole tools, a push mower, and a riding lawnmower. Total loss there is around $1,300. And I know how fast my grass is growing this time of year. We need to find that person's lawnmower and get it back to them. Well, Deputy Austin and Deputy Trainee Bassett responded to the Circle K located on Highway 200 in reference to a suspicious Jeep Cherokee uh, parked at the gas pumps. It had been parked there for about two hours, so contact was made with Michael Roy Stewart, who was with the vehicle, and through their investigation, it was learned that the Jeep was reportedly stolen. So, Stewart was arrested and transported to our Gold Star Hotel. And then we had deputies dispatched to the 10,800 block of Southeast 168th Lane, that's down in Summerfield, and there's reference to a shooting. As Deputy Diaz arrived in the area, he observed a white male matching the description of the shooter, later identified as Blake Ellenberger. As Deputy Diaz and Deputy Golf were making contact with the subject, he surrendered. Deputy Kip Peterson and Deputy Zizuski located the victim and had him transported to the hospital. Canine Deputy Hooper responded, utilizing Rambo in an area search and located the firearm that was used in the shooting. Ellenberger was arrested and transported to our Gold Star Hotel. Uh, good job, Rambo, sniffing out that gun. Glad to get that off the street. Well, while on patrol, Deputy Reed attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a Chrysler four-door in the 6,000 block of State Road 200 and due to the registered owner being classified as a habitual traffic violator. That means it's a felony. If you're out driving a car and you're labeled as habitual, you're committing a felony. So uh, the driver, Ebony Harris, refused to stop and a pursuit was initiated. Uh, she finally did stop and uh, she pulled into a, a home in, the, in Southwest 10th Avenue uh, where, he, where she was taken into custody and she told the deputy that she did have a, a suspended license and she kept on driving because she didn't want her vehicle towed. Well, her vehicle was towed and she was transported to our Gold Star Hotel, our lovely gated community here that we refer to as our jail. And uh, that's it for so, the highlights for so far this week and uh, we'll be back here later this week kind of keep you up to date. Follow us on Facebook, like us and share us. Hope you have a great night.